The motor M reels in the cable at a constant rate of 100 mm per second. Determine the velocity of the load L. And here we have two key information. The first one is, we have two cables, this one and this one, which means we have two displacement equations. The second one is, we have a motor withdrawing a cable, which means that the velocity of the motor can be represented by a point on the cable. So let's start with our datum first, and then the coordinate of the load, the coordinate of poly B, and the coordinate of any point along the cable that is going to the motor. For this left side, the length will be SM plus three segments attached to SB, which means three SB, and this is equal to L1. And if we take the derivative, it will be VM plus 3VB equals to zero. And for the other side, we have this small segment, which is SL minus SB, and the other long segment, which is SL, and this is equal to the second length, L2. And if we take the derivative, it will be 2VL minus VB equals to zero. We don't want the intermediate point, which is point B, so we will eliminate VB from both velocity equations, and the result will be VM plus 6VL equals to zero. And VL is found by minus VM over six, and VM is positive down, which is 100 millimeter per second. So this is minus 100 over six, which is minus 16.67 millimeters per second, which means 16.67 millimeters per second in the other direction. So the opposite is down for L and the negative is up. And this makes sense. When the motor pulls the cable down, the load at L goes up.